I went to Central Hobbies today. They had a beautiful used turntable. So I'm going to unwrap it. Unwrap it. Yeah. Dong dong. Now I'll get I'll get my my buddy here to to cut the package for me. It's a 134 foot HO. See the mechanism to uh, turn the uh, turntable. Uh, this will have to be uh, straightened a little bit. Uh, slight corrections, which I'm very, very fine with doing. Uh, I was bought used as is, and I'm very, very, very pleased with it because I was sort of looking for something like this. A little bit of damage to the top. Looks like the top, uh, the tower, tower is missing, but that's okay because all this can be corrected. All this can be, as you can see, fixed. And so I'll be able to to do necessary repairs. This over here will be the base. It goes underneath. This is good. No extra parts in here except for direction and this here uh, oh yeah it turns nice it turns nice I have to do a little repair here on this track part here I'll reset it that's no, really easy to do uh, the price the price was a hundred dollars um, set normally sells for about two hundred and fifty dollars Possibly nowadays three hundred dollars, and so to me it's uh, it's worth the the little repairs, uh, repaint, uh, just the little corrections that need to be done. So there you go. Very very beautiful. Very nice. Down here, and we'll see what we have in this box. I was going to do a separate unboxing of this, but it did come from Central Hobbies as a, as a full set, so I'll show you guys what I got for a hundred bucks. Very well worth it. Uh, diamond scale construction. And this will be the plan on how to put together the twin table. Yeah, 
pretty much what it is. Teaches you what this uh, circuit board is for. Yeah, the instructions on how to put it together with the uh, directional switch uh, to go to one uh, one track or another. And a circuit board. And then a circuit board layout. And then again, the track layout. Instructions. And there's a bunch of other manuals just for the uh, circuit board itself. Is really nice. So here's part of the turntable. And this will be the spinner. laying out of this uh, this piece here yeah and I'll tell you exactly how the uh, the bridge works this one's uh, 120 120 120 feet I have to read all this so I can possibly uh, put it all together and do a video of that. Yes, yes. And what else we have here? For some blocks. And this over here will be the circuit board that went with it. This is the gear. I'm going to set the gear box. Uh, there's uh, appears to be a bunch of little parts missing, but in the end, uh, it'll be good for me to be able to maybe add to this one or do uh, one uh, turntable that's in a part of the yard that's not really being used and just a layout, just part of the layout. And I can also get the parts I need over at the uh, at the uh, hobby shop. Yeah. Look at the motor. Yeah, motor assembly is here. Looks like it's complete. Or actually, no, that's the uh, for a circuit board. I want to see if circuit board is around. No switch. This is uh, what it spins on. So it sits on, on this, and then if I'm correct, it spins side to side. So then there's two of them. One would go on either side. This is how it would be. Or the other way around. Oh yeah, because it's just a small one. So one would go here. I might be missing uh, two of them. And then the other one, if it was there, it would have gone over here. And then you have two on each side. So it's not really complete, but the parts can be used. As well as all of these parts. It looks like part of the, uh, the cabin is, uh, is there, the top cabin. Yep, that's good. Just need this. This would make a shed. I'll make a little, little shed. And this over here would go here. 
and then the top would go a little bit here. So the shed is there, which is really, really cool. And we'll see what else we have in here. A bit of balsa wood. And a balsa wood. I'm going to try 